You are welcome back to this JavaScript series. My name is Abida Kuntayenife, an instructor at SPI College of ICT. In this video, we will be looking at concatenation, uh, also known as string operator. I'll use concatenation to join maybe two strings together, a string with a variable, then maybe two variables where one of them is a string. And, uh, let's look at concatenation, concatenation in details. If I have variable my name, a name, if I have it as tire, so I have a variable called my name and the value is tire. So if, what if I now want to display a lot? Oh, let, me, let me use console. I want this on the browser. Hello tire. I want something like this on the browser. So to do this, if I run this on the browser, I'm going to have error because there's no variable called hello. So I have to put this inside the quotes so that it can read it. It's not going to throw back any error here. Then instead of this, this will be hello my name because the value of my name is tiny. So I have hello my name. So let's run it on the browser and see how that works. We have an error here. Let me close all these tabs. I'm not using them. So we have an error here. Missing this. What happens is it's unable to join these two together. It's unable to join them together. So how do you join them together? You, you join them using concatenation. In JavaScript, the sign for concatenation is plus sign. It's plus sign. So you have hello plus my name. That is hello tie. So Meaning that plus sign performs two things in JavaScript. It performs the work of addition and it also performs the work of concatenation. If it sees numbers, then it's going to perform the work of addition. If it sees string, it's going to perform the work of concatenation. So let's go to the and say, so I have hello tie. Oh, there should be space in between this hello and tie. So how do we add that? Your second, you do this. So hello plus space that is hello space then plus my name which is tired so how that another way to solve this same problem is you can, you can put the space here remember i told you why we're doing data type that anything in quotes like this will be read word for word copy and paste so it's going to do something like this hello space then the name so we're going to get the same results same results so we've looked at that okay before we continue i want you to understand something that your page loads it reads code from the top to the bottom and from the left to the right meaning that if this page is to load this code it's going to read this read this read this arithmetic then read this operators once it's done with this time then it comes to a read assignment then read operators then on like that also once it gets a read console.log then read this hello, then read this. So your page is from the top to the bottom, and each line will be read from the left to the right. So we see the reason why I'm stating this now. Let's assume um, I have something like this. Let's see what happens here. Yeah. That's what happens here. I have 7 plus 4 is what? 11. 11 plus my name, that is 11 plus tie. Now, I want you to understand something that uh, whenever you join anything with a string, everything now becomes a string. For instance, if I have 2 plus my name, that is 2 plus tie, it becomes 2 tie. Like everything becomes a string now. 2 tie is now a single string. Is now a string. So in this case, 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus my name, which is tie in this case. So 11 plus tie everything becomes 11 tie because it's unable to join them together. It's unable to add them together. So 7 plus 4, 11. The plus here is performing the work of addition. Meanwhile, the plus here is performing the work of concatenation. The plus here is performing the work of addition because these two are numbers, but the plus here, since it's dealing with a string now, is performing the work of concatenation. So once I go to the browser, I see 11 tie. So I have 11 tie. Let's move on. 
what if I have something like this? My name plus seven plus four. Now my name is a string that is tie plus seven. Tie plus seven is you know I told you that your code is from the left to the right, so it's going to do this part. Tie plus seven that is tie seven because it's not able to be able to add these two together. So tie plus seven becomes tie seven, and everything now becomes a string. Tie seven plus four now becomes tie seven four. So it's meaning that this is concatenation and this is also concatenation. So, I have tie 7 4. Tie 7 4. So, what if I now decide to make this 8? 8 plus 7, because this 8, the data type of this 8 is a string. The data type of this 8 is a string, it will be treated as a string. And my name now becomes string 8 plus 7. It's not going to add them together. Is going to concatenate them because the data type of this is a string. So 8 plus 7 in this case becomes 8 7. Then 8 7, like I told you earlier, that whenever you add anything with a string, everything becomes a string. Whenever you concatenate anything with a string, everything becomes a string. So 8 7 plus 4 becomes 8 7 4. 8 7 4. This is different from having. Seven plus four, eleven, eleven plus eight. So because this is string, it becomes eleven eight. Because this will be executed first before getting here. So you have seven plus four, eleven, eleven plus eight. We have eleven eight. That is one one eight. We have eleven eight in thousand. So. So what if this is a number? So 7 plus 4, 11, 11 plus number 8. Because it is a number, this plus will perform the work of addition and not concatenation. So 7 plus 4, 11, 11 plus 8 is 19. So you see 19 on the bottom. 19. So do you understand how concatenation works now? Now, out of all this, um, all, all this arithmetic, uh, sorry, assignments, sorry, arithmetic operators, sorry, out of all these arithmetic operators, you know, like I said, we have the plus, minus, addition, subtraction, division, modulus, plus, plus, minus, minus, plus, this plus sign is the only one that performs two function. That is concatenation and addition. Meaning that if I have string x and I have flat my name times tell the data type here is a string but it knows that you can you can multiply a string by three look at it let's assume I have this good Philip my name is Taye Taye times three Taye is not a number so if I try to multiply by three it's going to tell me that this thing is not a number N A N means not a number. So it's telling me that that variable name is not a number. So, but if this is a number like it, although the, the data type is a string, if I try to multiply by it, it's going to do that because it knows, JavaScript understands that you can multiply a string by three. So it now takes the value, it, it takes the value as a number. It says the value as a number. So by it tries to understand that, oh, I, I think you are trying to multiply this number by three. So it's going to give me 24. 24. Also, minus, if I have, let's say, 10, 10 minus 3, it's going to tell me that, see, there's no way you can subtract 3 from 10. It's going to tell me that. So telling me that it's not a number. But if I have, let's say, number 10 here, yeah, although the data type is, is a string, but because the value inside is a number, it's going to execute it perfectly. Now, why is it not doing the same thing for plus? Let's say, let's say 9. 
If I run this on the browser, because plus performs two things in JavaScript, both the work of concatenation and addition. So, and since this is a string, it's going to perform the work of concatenation. So on the browser, you see night three. But if it's a number, you will see 12. You see 12. So meaning that you must be careful while using plus. Sometimes once it sees a string, it performs concatenation. Once it sees numbers only, it performs addition. Okay, I believe you've been able to understand concatenation. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.